Welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War. This is how the war ends. There are two smaller battles left, Georgia Railroad, so the Siege of Atlanta, which or we need to hold our ground, so I'm going to send the second corps, 24,000 men against 36,000, and just hold the siege lines. All right. Siege force is... Uh, okay. We need to hold our ground. Simple as that. Well, I suppose deployments could be a bit different, couldn't they? Still, so, uh, I think I'll go with this. Uh, actually, no, wait. So it makes more sense to have the artillery deployed a bit there. Uh, skirmishers will go over here in these woods. I'll keep everyone else as is. He'll take the front line. He'll take the side. I'll send an extra general. Worth keeping in mind that I am outnumbered in, uh, in this affair. So, the majority of the fighting will take place around here. I'll just speed it up, no reason to dawdle on this. Move artillery, especially here. Okay, so we need to hold these points. I'll send some extra infantry brigades over there and over there. It's for the cavalry. Well, it's not going to do much, but I guess I should send it on this side. Uh, this side is firmly anchored. There's no way they're going to flank me, but there is a gap here on on the right, or on my left. So, here begins the great conf the great battle of Atlanta. Or, well, this is still in 1864. It actually, without a victory at Atlanta, it's possible Lincoln could have lost his bid for re-election, which as you might imagine would have had a significant impact on the war because you had the peace democrats who wanted the peace between the Union and the Confederates. do have, there we go, more heavy fighting, I should move General Sherman right here in the thick of it, yeah, they've tried the full frontal assault, it has failed, we've only lost a few men, no, nothing too serious. Alright, Orphan Brigade. Still pushing through over there, trying to. We need to hold for three hours. That's the time units. Obviously, it's not three hours in real time. We do have General Wright with Spencer's. Oh, they've broken through. Or rather, I guess they. Alright, they're gonna try and take, potentially I imagine they're gonna try and charge this flank. What's the situation over here? We've killed 600 men. 
situation is. Good. Okay, line is holding. Very good, very well. I may need to replenish the ammo of these units though. So I'll just wait a bit and see what the situation of supplies is. Alright, I, I think that's good enough. I think that's acceptable enough ammunition wise. I should probably get Brown out of here. Replace him with. Um, Yeah, they'll they'll hold both of them out of the way. Do we need more supplies over here? Front line is holding quite well. It's a foregone conclusion that I was gonna win this by the way. It's just a question of how many men. Let's see. We lost about six five, six percent, so we'll probably lose about twenty percent, which is about two thousand men or so. I think Sherman is neither done. Ooh, general scales. Fine. They're running out of ammo there. Ammo is getting low though. It's certainly a problem. How many have we killed though? Yeah, half of them. We've only lost like 3,000 men or so. Including one general, so that kind of sucks, but still. So, uh, victory is a victory, right? Okay, we need, uh, well, there is no more ammunition, I'm afraid. Burnside will take the front line. Here I'm just gonna try and eliminate some of their artillery, see if I can find it. Yeah, there we go. I think their infantry is all committed, so their artillery should, in theory, be easy pickings. In theory, I'll move uh, several of my brigades forward, skirmishers, spencers, all that.
Okay, they lost 10 guns, uh, they lost 20,000 men, we lost General Scales, that's fine, and General Sherman has been promoted along, last I have a rank-free core, eventually, uh, finally. We got 2,000 Harper's Ferry, that should make up for all that I may have lost in the battle, 500 recovered, so uh, all good. A bunch of Sharps, some Napoleons, well, not that many. Springfields, okay, 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 very good. Yes, sir. Well, we do have 200,000 resources. I'll just spend a bit right now. I don't think I should spend too much. I'll probably want to conserve my coin very carefully for Richmond itself. No, I am not afraid of spending my money over here either. There is a... Well, if necessary, I can always equip them with Springfields, but... Um, weaker ones, but I do have plenty of newer ones as well, especially these <laughs> these ones. Maybe I should equip everyone with the M1 uh, 861s. So, who knows. There's plenty of Spencer rifles. Very good. Uh, I need the skirmishers. Where are they? There we go. Right. That was that I was interested in. And at this point, they probably won't level up. Uh, no one's gonna level up, but I guess we'll see after the next battle. So, I most certainly could uh, attack uh, Richmond with this particular force. I probably could even take it, even. I think I would succeed over there. You don't need more than three cores for, uh, for Richmond itself. But I guess I'll see about this. Okay, so at Richmond, there is close to 60,000, well, 56,000. Let's weaken those numbers a bit. I'll just save this as R2. So Harrison's Creek. All right, we start with 3,000 men. Um, should I give it to the first core or the second core? Well, I think first core, second core will uh, support it. All right, uh, we outnumber the enemy two to one, so it shouldn't be an issue. And we have more guns. All right. So, Harrison Creek. We're not going to be able to launch a full frontal assault over here. It's suicidal. Look at that slope. Just look at that terrain. Those trench lines. Well, not trench lines. Those barricades. Well, if you know, if we get reinforcements, you know, certainly we could break through. I 
intent to see if I can fight, you know, break through over here. Because if I can attack this portion of the battlefield, actually it would suck pretty badly. But it seems like my only option. That or wait for the cavalry to actually arrive so I can break through like that. Because, you know, when like the way you break siege lines, of course, is you flank around them somehow. You find the weak point where you can flank around. Uh, that's how you, and you force the enemy to retreat. Of course, that's that's the best way. So, I'm interested. Yes, it's possible. That doesn't mean it's a good option. But it may be the only thing I have. Don't mind you, this is going to be a bit of a long affair. So, just wait it out a bit. See how this goes. I am absolutely not stupid enough to launch a frontal assault. I mean, I could, it's just, and I would even win. <laughs> That's not the question here. It's like, is it worth it? All right, so when we get enough reinforcements to be able to assault this trench line, I will, uh, and that's probably what's going to win the battle for me. All right, reinforcements, more of them, no problem. Just waiting for the cavalry to arrive. That's when we'll uh, begin my, our main assault. Time is not of the essence right now. And obviously I want to keep as many of my units intact, get more units potentially for the sake of the Battle of Richmond. The Siege of Richmond. Well, not really a siege, battle, an assault. I kind of wish I knew where the enemy was. I mean, we do want to number them, though. That's... Yep, there we go. The reinforcements, boys. Let's go. No time to dawdle. Go, 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 go. Okay, we've taken one of the points, we need to take the second one, we have three hours left.
Alright, there seems to be a point there in their line which I can exploit so I don't have to throw brigades, entire brigades there and lose hundreds of men for the sake of trying to assault here. I could break them here. Uh, frontal assault is out of the question though. I can't. I probably can't smash through their defenses over here. Well, well, everything's possible. It's. You know. Oh. All right, it's still uh, doable. Not the cleanest affair that I've ever, not cleanest battle that I've ever engaged in. Doable.
Well, uh, I need to worry about supplies. And I did lose a unit there, so that's why. I would rather not lose a major general, not before Richmond. Right, uh, sending more supplies over there, gonna get more brigades. Still haven't done anything with a good portion of my army, I'm gonna move artillery closer.
Well, we've broken through, right? We lost 7,000 men. They lost about just as many, though. So it's not the one side that's slop. Besides, a lot of the men that I did lose were men from that cavalry unit that I got. Just gotta stand still, right? All right, 10,000 dead, 7,000 dead on my side. All right, victory is a victory, right? Let's see about guns. Ah, oh, there we go. Yes, sir. Lost some generals, but still fine. That will do. More logistics, I'll need the ammo. Now we have Richmond. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir.
All right, I'm gonna raise more troops, uh, as many as I can. I think I'm better served. I mean, of course, I could spend my money on, you know, some of those, uh, some of those guys. I'm gonna sell the sharks. You get some uh, burn sides. Who knows? I can get uh, my cavalry with better guns, shouldn't I? Where? Well, not better guns, better. Yeah, armaments. Maybe them too? Nah. There's uh, not enough, I'm afraid. I think you're better suited as a player if you have more cores. More units, actually. That would... That probably works better. I am going to... Get the cavalry brigade, actually. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, well, just getting my uh, army ready to go. Some more artillery, maybe. 
Assuming I can get enough units for these cores. I'll just get an artillery brigade over here. I don't need to worry about this army though. This particular portion of it. At any rate. But it might pay off to have some more units, right? There we go. Just a bunch of colonels, led by colonels, led by a colonel. Shall wait? I don't have any more. Guess not. Throw a, a colonel then over here. Put a brigadier general in charge of the division. Okay, I have three cores. Not the whole lot left, mind you. Selling these. I can probably afford a couple more things. Yeah, just uh, fill up the third core, right? Maybe get another infantry brigade for the fourth. Gonna spend that kind of money on them. <laughs> Lorenzes. Yes, sir. Why not? So, uh, two, three more units. Very well. Burnsides, probably. Yeah, that will do.
Okay, I have over 60,000 men, well more close to 70,000 really at this point, to throw against Richmond, to smash against the might of the last remaining Confederate army that holds the ground at Richmond. All this preparation, all this time, that gets led to this. The main, the first corps will attack on the left, the second corps will attack on the right, and the third and fourth corps will attack in the center. Actually, we have more than we have close to fucking what? Okay, yeah, we have 80,000 men. <laughs> Guess I was mistaken. All right, we outnumbered them by about 20,000 men or so. Of course, many of my units are a bunch of inexperienced uh, guys, but still, we can probably Well, you know what? Richmond deserves to be its own battle. Like, looking at this, thinking about it, it might be a phased battle, just like Washington was. So if that's the case, then obviously... That's not gonna be easy. So anyway, Quasi and Sanyon. 